Hi, welcome to the Retro Shared. Very quick video today. Um, I was thinking last weekend, have you ever been in a situation where you can recall a game that you played many years ago, probably as a kid or, or an adolescent, and you can't remember for the life of you what that game was called? And you can remember what you were doing and what the game was about, but you can't remember what it was called. Now, this was a situation I was in last weekend talking to a friend of mine about a game. Um, I don't think we were talking about the same game, uh, but I remember a game where you were a tank and you could fly and it wasn't Xenon and you played on some kind of grid. Um, you kind of like you were entering some kind of matrix. No, not that kind of matrix. It was like a flat 3D kind of matrix. A bit like Zark or Virus uh, on the Archimedes or the Amiga developed by David Braben. Um, so I did some digging and I found out uh, that this game is called Simulcra. Now I posted on our Facebook page a couple of times about this game and I don't think anyone's ever played it. I think I'm the only person that's ever played it. Obviously that's not the case. I'm not the only person that's played this, but I think it's a bit obscure. Um, there's not many people that actually remember playing this or recall ever seeing it. So I thought I'd do a very quick video today and show you a game developed by Graft Gold in 1990. Um, and it's a 3D, it's a 3D tank flying shooter kind of game. Now I found, uh, I found an article in Amiga Power from 1990 that reviews this game and it got quite good scores actually. They, uh, they said the 3D engine was very good. It's a great little blaster. And I think it scored about 74, 75 to 80%. So the idea of the game is you are this tank or you are this surveillance reconnaissance vehicle. They call it an SRV. Um, and you are a land based tank and you can sprout wings and take off and fly. And the whole idea is you're in this matrix. Um, and there are enemies, there are flying enemies, uh, land-born enemies and turrets and things like that. And the matrix that you're in is surrounded by an energy field or like some kind of force field. And the idea is to roam around the landscape, shooting stuff, picking up power-ups and destroying generators along the way that will disable this force field. Once you've destroyed all the generators on a level, the force field disappears, the matrix dissolves and you go on to the next level and so it goes on. So let's take a look at Simulcra on the Amiga 500. That's quite neat. I like that. I do love the Amiga. So there's uh, there's an overview of uh, level one. So yeah, so there you and you can see I can deploy my wings or fold them in. And let's see if I remember how you play this. Right, yes. So you pick up those orbs, whatever they are, after blowing things up. And the, the glowing orangey red border you see there, that's the border to your matrix. And the whole idea is you destroy these generators and you end up destroying uh, that fence or that boundary to your matrix. Um, and you hunt around and you will encounter different enemies. It's quite slick. It still plays quite slick. It's a nice 3D engine. Uh, and there you saw some kind of flying enemy that was out to get me. I think there's one of the generators there, one of the partial generators, so if you blow that up, there you go, it switches off a sector of the, uh, the field, um, which allows you to carry on. Now, if I remember rightly, flying was an absolute menace, so I'll show you that in a minute though. Right, so these warehouses, if you see these little warehouses, I think if you blow them up, there you go, there's either an extra craft for you in there, or power up. These turrets here are a bit of a pain, they can blow you up, so let's get rid of those. Do you know, this really takes me back playing this. I used to love playing this game. And you can see it does remind you um, of a sort of Zark or Virus, which is a very similar sort of game, in that 
you're piloting, well, you're trying to pilot the craft because in Virus it's very, very difficult. It's all mouse control, mouse driven, looks gorgeous. Uh, it's just an absolute swine to play, so I didn't play it much. And you can lock onto flying craft with your missiles and blow them up. There's another generator, so we'll get rid of him. Now, some parts of the map, I think you do have to sprout wings and fly. Uh, this is obviously level one, so it's pretty easy going. Anyone play this? Anyone else play this? Anyone remember this? Or is it just me? ECM, yeah, that's typical electronic countermeasure. I think you can, uh, you can stop guided missiles coming towards you if you equipped yourself with that. Now here I think I need to fly to get over to that bit. So F4 deploys wings. There you go. Okay. Quite quiet. And it's a bit uncontrollable actually when you when you take off. the last generator so your matrix dissolves um, and I think you start a new level Whoa. there you go off to another matrix um, to do the entire thing again so there you go that's Simulcra by Graph Gold released in 1990 on the Amiga let me know what you think of that is it absolute rubbish or does it look quite good? Do you have any memories of this game at all? Somebody tell me they used to play and enjoy this, will you? Because I'm sure um, I don't know anyone that has. So thank you for watching uh, and we'll catch you again soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.